What's going on guys, Bashar Kentu here, Amazon MBA Seller Mentor. In today's video, we'll be talking about if really Amazon MBA private labeling is dead and how exactly you can go about it in 2018. So be sure you guys stay. What's going on guys, Bashar Kentu here again, Amazon MBA Seller Mentor. So as I said earlier, we'll be talking about exactly what private labeling is and if it's dead in 2018, because I am pretty sure you guys have been hearing the rumors that private labeling is pretty much dead because of all the problems that have been happening with all the new regulations and the new laws Amazon been putting together in the past year or so. So let's kind of first break down exactly what Amazon has been doing and then we'll, I'll answer that question for you guys if Amazon would be a private labeling is really dead and then we'll go about explaining exactly why I think that. So the number one thing about a year and a half ago if any of you guys have been around for that long do know that Amazon stopped or stopped allowing incentivized um, reviews because before you would actually be able to, um, you know, give away products in order to get reviews. And if you know anything about launching a new product on Amazon, you will know that actually the two highest, you know, variables in, in Amazon's algorithm or to get you. Um, you know, ranking in the first pages is sales and reviews. And in order for you to really get any, you would need to do some type of giveaway or you would have to get some type of really traction or traffic into your listing in order for you to do even any of that, you know. And when you first create a listing, Amazon throws you all the way in the back, whether if it's page, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30, 50, depending on how many you know, pages that particular product has or how many listing that particular product has or similar product, right? So in order for us to get on the first pages, we need to have some type of sales. We need to also get some type of reviews. So before Amazon used to allow you to doing that, but then they stopped and everybody freaked out. And then the ones that really didn't know what they were doing fell out, making the ones that knew what they were doing actually stand out, okay? And then now, you know, everybody started doing where they do a giveaway or they have, you know, friends and family, leaves them reviews um, or even, you know, join Amazon groups in order for them to get reviews that way. And then you would get some unverified reviews and then would get some verified reviews. The difference between the two, unverified review um, is when somebody leaves you a review without actually making a purchase. Verified reviews is when somebody leaves you a, a review after making a purchase, receiving your product, enjoying it, and then they just like it, and then they leave you a review, right? So everybody, or not everybody, some people say that unverified reviews don't exactly, you know, um, make your listing higher, or they don't rank you. You know, you don't rank for those reviews. Um, and however, still some people did you know, get those reviews or, or look after getting those reviews because of, you know, it just gives your listing that much more credibility, you know. So that's kind of why everybody was try, And then it was also easier because in order for you to get a verified review, somebody would have to actually order your product with a couple of days until it was received. And it's so that it looked organic, you would have to maybe wait a day or two in order for them to actually, um, you know, get that review, you know. So that's just kind of how it happened, right? Um, however, after after all that, really, what happened was Amazon just recently came out with a new rule where they actually stopped allowing unverified reviews. And then also, even before that, if you were able to, or if you had too many people leave you too many reviews on your seller's account in general, and then one product in particular, actually Amazon would stop allowing you receive, um, you know, ver unverified reviews, would only let you receive verified reviews. You know, by the time somebody orders them, gets them, and then leaves you a review, that's a couple of days. And if you just got in a new product and you really want to launch it right away, that kind of took you some time. So that's why people kind of went for unverified reviews before verified reviews first. Now, also another change that Amazon has done recently is actually cracking down on a lot of Facebook groups that you were able to maybe create a posting in 
or generate some verified reviews by having some of those um, you know, sellers or some of those reviewers um, you know, buy your product, you either reimburse them or maybe they're even sellers themselves where you do swap outs. Uh, you know, so they buy your product, you buy their product. Once the products arrive, you guys leave each other reviews and then maybe just uh, reimburse each other the difference of um, whatever the product is. And they have been cracking down on a lot of those uh, groups lately, you know, by making Facebook actually uh, delete those or take those uh, groups down. And honestly, I was, you know, part of many of those groups. And also a lot of my students were part of many of those groups. So really, um, you know, that has been happening very often lately, okay? Now, once again, these kinds of things, these kind of rules have been happening over the past, you know, maybe year, year and a half, but then the the change has been happening in the last couple of weeks. I think it has been about a month now where Amazon, you know, where you can't actually leave unverified reviews. It only has to be verified reviews, you know. So many people are freaking out. Many people are thinking that, you know what, Amazon FBA private labeling is dead because now it is almost impossible for you to, to gain some verified reviews. Therefore, it is nearly impossible for you to jump on the rankings, to even get on the rankings. And bear with me, I am going to be answering the question, is Amazon FBA private labeling dead in 2018? Now, here's the thing. If you have enjoyed the, this video so far, please be sure that you guys continue until the end because I will be talking about exactly what I think in the next minute or two. And also, go ahead and drop your comments below. Let me know what do you think, you know. Are you actually private labeling? Are you wholesaling? Are you a, a retail arbitrager? What exactly is your concept? Are you even thinking about Amazon FBA, private labeling, or any concept altogether? Because I get many questions all the time, people hesitant to joining, you know, to starting selling on Amazon. It doesn't matter exactly what uh, concept you go for. It doesn't exactly matter what um, you know, a uh, 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 model you go for, just starting selling on Amazon, you know, just in 2017, Amazon did 217, uh, or I'm sorry, $277 billion in sales um, just over one year. And now they're shooting for over 200, and I think I said 277, but it's really $177 billion in sales last year. And this year they're shooting for over $200 billion. Uh, we're talking about billion, we're not talking about millions, okay? That is over 55% of all the market share going through one particular uh, website. Just one website. 55% of all online sales. So if you're really still hesitant about selling on Amazon, you know, you really should think about it a little bit further. But let's go back into our subject of is Amazon VA private labeling dead in 2018? So what I personally think and what I have been seeing, and I've been following a lot of big accounts big private labeling accounts. So when I teach somebody to sell as a private labeling seller or start private labeling on Amazon, two of the biggest criteria that we look for is low reviews, high sales. Low reviews, 70 or below. Sales of 300 and above, okay? Now many people say, well, you know what? Private labeling is, you know, a uh, 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 competitive, it is, you know, uh, the, the market has been very saturated because, you know, there are so many sellers now selling, and that's very true. There are a lot more sellers today than there were last month, six months ago, last year. But guess what? There's also a lot more buyers on Amazon than there was last month, six months ago, and last year. Just the U.S. has 330 million people plus, okay? Amazon has over 11 different marketplaces. They have UK, Spain, Italy, Germany, Australia, Canada, Mexico, US, Indonesia, India, you know, and I think I'm missing a couple more, okay? They have over 12 warehouses all throughout the world for FBA that fulfill your products for you that are over 1.5 million square feet large, okay? So that's something you guys need to understand. Sure, it is more saturated today but there are a lot more buyers today there's a lot more potential today also new products are always being launched new ideas are always being added 
Another thing, if you think about the whole review situation and that it is impossible for you to gain reviews in 2018 because of the new law, I actually look at it in a good way. And here's why. Before a lot of times, I would be analyzing products and they would have thousands and thousands and thousands of sales a month, but they would also have hundreds if not th excuse me, thousands of sales um, or reviews also, okay? But now that Amazon's cracking down and what has been happening also is that Amazon been cracking down on a lot of those large accounts and taking down a lot of their reviews that they got in shady ways, you know what I mean? Um, in ways where they had to go and get reviews in a different way or maybe also some companies what they do and that is something you need to be careful about is that they will go and actually leave bad reviews for other competitors that way their reviews you know or their sales or their listings look better you know and their sales go up you know so now that Amazon has done the crack really I think that's actually beneficial for us low guys you know I mean us making a couple hundred sales a day you know we're talking about bigger companies that are doing thousands of sales a day doing millions of dollars a year but for us the little guys really if you think about it right now you know that gives us even more opportunity you know if you really think about it because now all those products that we have looked at before and thought damn it has a lot of sales very large amount of potential however very large amount of reviews also and there's no way for me to start competing or get anywhere near the first page now you may be able to do that because now all of their reviews are taken down you know now all of you know maybe they used to have 900 reviews and they got cut in half and now they're at 400 and then well maybe that's even still a little bit too much but you know what we don't even care about that because we're not even looking for those products in the first place we're looking for products that have on average Top 10 listings need to have 70 or less reviews. So we're really not even looking for the guys that have thousands of reviews or hundreds of reviews. And guess what? If the ones that have 70, 80, 100 reviews, their reviews got cut by half or even 10% or 20%. So even if you had somebody, you know, let's say you found a product that sold very well, but then had reviews of a little bit above our average and now Amazon cut down their reviews. Now, you know what? They just fell into our criteria. So that even makes more potential for us, me and you guys, to have more products to look at, to have more potential, to just have more possibilities for us to actually look into and try to sell within, you know? So that's one thing I need you guys to understand. Always think about any situation in a positive way, you know, in a way where it can work for you more than you thinking about the negative part of it and thinking, oh my God, what am I going to do now? You know, how am I going to make it happen? And only the ones that actually make it to the end, only the ones that are going to stick around and still do great business are the ones that think outside of the box. And that's great for me and you guys because you know what? We know how to think outside of the box. We know how to actually, you know, execute and, and, and try to improvise, and that's what it's all about, improvising. Just because the regular norm of hitting up, you know, Facebook groups, getting unverified and verified is not working now, doesn't mean you're going to give up. 45% of all Amazon revenue comes from private labeling. That's one thing I need you guys to understand. 45% of all Amazon's $177 billion they did last year came from private labeling. So do you really think Amazon is going to do something to harm that business, 45% of their revenue. I mean, if you just do 50% of 177, so 160, that's 80. So over $80 billion in revenue last year came from private labeling. So why in the right mind would Amazon hurt that or do anything to affect it badly, okay, or negatively? If anything, what they're doing is giving more opportunity for the little guys to shine and have more possibility, have more opportunity to actually make it to the top and have more potential to sell and bring more sellers, which means more ideas, more private labeling products for us, okay? Because there's always new products coming in. There's always more potential coming in. There's always more customers coming in. The more products come in, the more customers come in because you know what? The first thing you do, the first thing that pops up when you go on Google and type anything that you want to buy, Amazon pops up, their advertising pops up, and bam, okay? So more potential, more customers, 
more products, less reviews, meaning more potential for us to get into it. So summing this whole video, this whole 15 minute of blah, 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 if Amazon FBA private labeling is dead in 2018, fuck no, it's not dead. And it's a lot better in 2018. I think there's a lot more potential for me and you guys to make it happen, to make thousands of dollars, to actually, you know, achieve the financial freedom you guys are looking for. Fuck the haters. Fuck everybody that says private labeling is dead. They're all haters. All they're doing is they're just trying to discourage you guys so maybe they can do something else. Or I've seen a bunch of gurus out there trying to say private labeling is dead. And guess what? These gurus are the either wholesalers or they're, you know, they're doing retail arbitrage or whatever the hell it is. They're probably trying to sell their course to you guys and trying to tell you guys private labeling is dead. It's really not dead and it's a, there's a lot more potential and a lot more room for you guys to grow and crush it in 2018, especially today after all the new rules that came in. Just imagine all these big guys now, their reviews chopped in half and now you guys can get into those crazy freaking uh, sales or those uh, products that can sell thousands of reviews or thousands of sales a month with not a whole lot of effort. So guys, once again, Bashar Katir, Amazon FBA seller and mentor. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Let me know. What do you guys think? Is Amazon private labeling dead in 2018 or is it just starting out? Are you starting Amazon? Are you selling on Amazon currently? What is exactly your current situation? What is exactly your current knowledge? What is exactly your current state of selling on Amazon? If you need any help, message me. The first link in the description is going to be to my mentorship program where I work with you one-on-one. -on -one. I provide you a full A to Z step-by-step -step library. I take you through the entire process. Unlike all the other gurus out there, or mentors out there, I actually work with all of my students. I have more success stories than anybody out there. I only have 50 students and I only take and I actually interview you. And that's why I only have 50 students. I launched my course four months ago. However, I interview every single person. I work with them because I want to spend as much time as possible to make sure that they are successful. Okay, my students, I have one of my most recent students, they joined the mentorship program five weeks ago or six weeks ago today. About three weeks later, they had already found a product, you know, contacted suppliers. A week later, they had already launched. And then within three days, because I always say do not order more than 200 units, Within three days, they had sold over 120 units in three days. So guys, if you want to see results like this, if you want to join somebody who really cares about you and your success, send me a, a, uh, a message or just literally con or comment info below um, or just pretty much like the video, share the video, and share with me whatever you think about private labeling. If you think I'm a jackass or I should go shave my mustache or I should go piss off, whatever, it doesn't matter, go ahead and drop your comments below. But guys, once again, Bashar Ketu here, Amazon and BSL Mentor. Thank you for being so awesome. I will see you all in the next video, and you all have a great day.